Hello everyone, welcome back to Book Reviews with Anne. Today we're gonna to be re reviewing Nicole Jordan's Master of Temptation. And if anybody has been watching my other videos, yes, this will be my last Nicole Jordan for a little bit, I swear. I think I dived into her for a little while and now I'm back on the other side. So Master of Temptation is not part of the, um, I think it's the Notorious series. I think I finished that one. So this is a different one. I will not be finishing up this series, but if you want to, please feel free to check it out. And if there are any that you think I would love or that are better than this one, let me know. Uh, I will admit that this one is probably not my favorite out of the whole series. So let's see what it's about. Okay. Lovers in Paradise. He is a brilliant military commander in every woman's temptation. When Max Layton unexpectedly comes to her golden Mediterranean island, Carl Evers longs to heal his emotional battle scars. But during one glorious night in his arms, she discovers a sensual master whose mere touch drives her to wild abandon. She is the bewitching angel he can't forget. Jaded by the glittering ballrooms of Regency London, Max returns to Serene to find the temptress who haunts his dreams, only to learn that Carl leads a dangerous double life. She's a warrior as well as a healer, a member of a secret society of protectors sworn to fight evil and ty tyranny across Europe. Afraid to lose her heart to Max again, Carol vows to conquer her fierce tenderness for him and thwart his campaign to win her. And a perilous mission of adventure takes them far from Serene's sun-splashed shores, entwining their destinies and challenging their deepest desires. So I'm actually surprised that I wasn't a fan. It might have been because it was my second read through. There's some characters that I really enjoy in this book and there's some not so much. I think that um, probably what I wasn't a the biggest fan of is maybe, there was something about their chemistry I didn't quite enjoy. Um, she really seemed like she didn't appreciate his advances and and I think he was a bit pushy with it uh so I think that just personally I think that or maybe the fact that I had read quite a few Nicole Jordan back to back so maybe I should have mixed up my author uh this again is still it still gets a sticker I would definitely read it again it's still a fun one to read um the lust meter like normal on Miss Jordan is is pretty high I would say it's probably about um not as high as some of the other ones. I'd say it's about a six. She still has quite a bit. It is intimate um, and a little a bit detailed, but I didn't find it as erotic as some of her other ones. So I felt like this one was a little more tame for me. I don't know. Again, on my opinion, as you can tell. <laughs> um, and let's see. And where can you get this and for how much? Thrift Books, I found it anywhere between $4 to $10 for a hardback copy. On Amazon, I found it on uh, Kindle for $5.99, hardback for $7, a paperback for $8.38, and the mass market paperback, which is the pocketbooks, for $6.99. So not too bad in Barnes & Noble. I found it only in Nook version for $5.99. And absolutely do not forget about used bookstores or uh, Internet Archive. I've talked about Internet Archive before. If you're not familiar with Internet Archive and you don't want 220 romance novels uh, in this section of your house, then Internet Archive is the way to go because you can read it for free. I think they have it where you now can borrow it only for an hour or two. It used to be for, I think it was 14 days, but they've changed it. So you'll have to check that out and let me know. Um, I think if you have an account, they also have an app and you can do it, just read it online. I absolutely prefer a physical copy. I only read online if I'm in a weird circumstance and I have no book, which does not happen very often because I carry them with me, but sometimes I'm adult and I forget my book and then I will have to read online. So, or you might just not want to have to buy and cart them around everywhere because moving with me is just pure terror because it's like carrying around bricks. So check it out. If you like, give Miss Jordan another, you know, um, her fantastically reflective book cover <laughs> um, a try and see what you think of the characters. I think my favorite character by far would definitely be Isabel is in there, which is Caro's friend slash mentor. And um, I love her fabulous attitude to life. Uh, I also do like the fact that they have the secret society and I like that Caro is involved in it. So she's kind of like a warrior 
Um, I just didn't like, I didn't like their romance. I didn't like their, their story together. I didn't feel like they clicked. I wasn't pulled into that. But the other parts of it, I was. I did like the, the missions and the, you know, mystique. So give it a thought. Tell me what you think. Uh, like I said, please let me know if you read any more in this series. And if there's one that you found that you liked best, if there is uh, any other books that you'd like me to check out, please let me know and I would be happy, happy, happy to do so. Um, the book that we are doing kind of a book club on is Magic Lessons, which is Practical Magic, kind of like a prequel. This is, if you haven't seen uh, Practical Magic, shame on you for one, because it's fantastic. And this is Marie Owen's story. I'm, uh, I've been at about halfway through, and I think at the end of it, if anybody's reading along with me, I'll do a review and then I'll do a spoilers because I'm doing a book club reading uh, with a friend of mine. And so far, we've made it to, um, I think it is the part three, Divination, and it's been quite a ride. Uh, I don't want to give anything away if anybody is reading along, but... Um, like I said, I think, and this is the first time I've done something like this, so I will probably do a spoiler review at the very end. But if you want to read with us, that's where we're at. And we're going to read to section four next time. So please check that one out if you so choose. Oh, I'm having a, okay. All right, guys, so that's it for Miss Jordan. And as I said, I'm gonna wrap up her little mini section here. And um, as you can tell, sometimes I get sucked into an author. Good job, Miss Jordan. I love you. You're fantastic. And I love your books. Thank you for being an amazing author and sharing your journey with me. Everybody else, I will see you next time.